You're invited to the Design Your Mind to Be Kind virtual book club on April 22nd at 8 a.m. on my Facebook page. I'm going to go live in the morning for an intention ceremony and a book reading. Uh, the book club is just an opportunity to take the first 86 so far, hopefully 100 book purchasers so far, and bring you all together to invite you to share what you're learning. I know that a lot of you are telling me that you're inspired, you were going slow through the book. Absolutely, please go slow through this book. It's not meant to be rushed. In fact, it's not meant to be picked up um, and, and read once. I want you to pick it off the shelf a lot when you think you need it most. That's what this book is for. It's a self-help book. It's a philosophy to designing your mind to be kind, finding your path to happiness, and learning how to change your habits in real time. And that doesn't happen overnight. So let this book change you in, at your pace and at your time. But I want you to come and join me on April 22nd for Earth Day. They, um, the pictures inside are all these beautiful words from John Dunstan, and my work is based in nature. And the beautiful part of the kindness innovation, the kind communicator has all these flowers in it. And when you buy two books, you get 20% off. So if you don't have the kind communicator, you can get that one too. But uh, my work is based in nature, and I'm proud of that. I'm proud to be a writer that teaches leaders in business based on trees and birds and not graphs and charts. And I'm proud to be a self-help writer and uh, someone who helps people change their habits in real time based on looking at the waters and understanding the currents of life. I mean, last night we celebrated the pink moon. The pink moon is actually also named the egg moon or the fish moon. It's it, when the earth is closest to uh, the moon in orbit, that's when the moon looks so bright and, and beautiful and, and big like we had it last night. And last night it was pink, which represents rebirth for the spring. And if you have started this book, you'll recognize that um, there's a double infinity sign, but I ask everyone to hold a piece of rose quartz in their hand as they read it or keep it by their bed so they can circulate rose quartz infinity, obviously in an imaginary sense, <laughs> through their mind, crossing at the throat chakra, circling around at the heart, which represents the tender loving care that you can give to yourself during your personal and professional development because this is not easy. It took me years to do this and it's going to take me years. I'm going to commit myself to be a life learner and the 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 whole body of work is really just so beautiful because once you realize that the stuff that seems so hard and seems so challenging and embarrassing is actually beautiful you get on the other end and your communication just blossoms like spring your relationships are nurtured and you grow in love and self-love as a wonderful human being now, what does the supermoon have to do with kind communication? It has everything to do with it. Just like the moon controls the tide, right? The moon comes in, the tide comes in and out, and in and out, and high tide and low tide. And when your emotions do the same thing to you, you can be pulled in all those different directions. And the whole point of reading this book, no matter if you're a CEO, a teacher, a mom, a dad, a leader, a retired uh, someone who's retired or someone who's just graduating, your emotions can get the best of you. And uh, we all think that we are done taking tests when we're little, but we're tested every single day as adults because we weren't taught this stuff in school. And the whole purpose of the book is to bring out the best in you, your highest self above the ego and going beyond ego, like I say. So please join me on April 22nd for Earth Day. I'm encouraging everyone to write a four-line poem. If you read the description of the event, please do that. If you have the book already, thank you so much. It means so much to me. Uh, I want you to bring your favorite parts or your favorite lines. If you haven't gotten the book yet, please get both books <laughs> or buy one. Now, this is The Kindness Innovation. Two books are 20% off whether you buy two of these or one each. And I'm so excited to see everyone again on uh, April 22nd, and I think that when we think about Mother Nature and we honor her and honor ourselves, honor the sun, honor the moon, the grass, the flowers, the leaves, the trees, the birds in the sky, we have a sense of calmness and we have a sense of control, and that brings self-respect. It brings self-worth. 
It brings value and life principles to somewhat of a hurried life, asking us to slow down and appreciate the changes in nature, just as you can appreciate the changes in yourself when you read this book. I'm Elizabeth Barry. I'm proud to be the author, and I'm very grateful for everyone who supports me and who's following me in this mission. And I send everyone light and love and gratitude and 100% beautiful health to you.